Rama and his faithful family members walked through the beautiful forest called Dandaka. They found a pleasant spot that had lots of game by a stream. They built a hut and lived happily for ten peaceful, happy years. One day, Supernaka, the terrible demoness, was traveling through the forest when she saw Rama. She looked at his handsome body and thought, I would like to have that man for my husband. So she changed herself into Sita and tried to reduce Rama. But Rama could see through her guise, and so he brought her to Lakshmana. Lakshmana was so furious at the idea of his brother marrying a demoness that with three swift arrows, he promptly cut off Supernaka's ears and nose. <laughs> The terrible demon woman, so terrible to behold, ran to her brother, Ravana, the king of Lanka. When she had heard her plight, he grew outraged and sent an army of 14,000 Rakshasas to destroy Rama. Furthermore, Supernaka told Ravana of Sita's exquisite beauty, and at once the king of the demons desired her to be his wife. Meanwhile, the army of demons had approached the place where Rama, Lakshmana, and Sita were living. Rama and Lakshmana were ready for the onslaught, bows in hand. The demons attacked. The air was filled with whistling arrows and terrible cries. <gasps> but finally, Rama slaughtered every Rakshasa that Ravana had sent. and following his desires instead of his brain, as all rakshasas will do, Ravana set out with his uncle, Marika, to capture Sita. He had Marika change himself into a golden deer. As Ravana expected, the deer caught Sita's fancy, and she asked Rama to capture it. Rama willingly obliged his wife, but not until getting firm instructions to Lakshmana to guard Sita. As Rama got closer to the deer, he saw that it was a demon, but it was too late. Right before Rama killed it, the deer uttered these words in Rama's voice. Sita, help me. When Sita heard these words, she stood by the deer's side to protect it and quickly turned himself back into a demon and carried her off to Ravana's palace. Meanwhile, in the forest, Lakshmana found Rama and they discovered that someone had tried to lure them away from Sita. When they found that Sita had been abducted, Rama was filled with sorrow and tried to seek advice of where Sita had disappeared. Finally, he met Hanuman, a mighty monkey that can do the impossible. He agreed to help them and sent search parties in every direction. <laughs> When they came to the ocean, they were told that Sita was on an island 300 miles away. After this, Hanuman, forever loyal to Rama, made the jump to Lanka. In Lanka, he found Sita and offered to take Sita to Rama. But Sita refused to let anyone but Rama touch her. Sita also gave a ring to Hanuman to give to Rama. As Hanuman was trying to escape, he was caught by the Rakshasas who decided to set his tail on fire. With his tail ablaze, Hanuman leaped from house to house, setting all of Lanka on fire, except the grove where Sita was. After this, he went back to report to Rama.
When Hanuman returned to Rama, he told him of the good news and gave him the ring. After receiving this news, Rama set out with his monkey army to attack Lanka. When they came to the mighty ocean, the monkey army built a great bridge to Lanka. When they reached Lanka, both sides were ready for war. The armies collided, monkeys and bears against the demons and hideous creatures. There were cries of pain, shouts, screams, and the blood-curdling laugh of the demons. The air was thick with arrows, and the ground was soaked with blood. In the midst of this terrible carnage, Rama searched for Ravana. but Rama neatly parried and thrust back with his sword. They fought long and hard for many hours until Rama, using his divine bow, pierced Ravana's heart. The monkeys at the same time defeated the Rakshasa army. Sita's purity, though, was in doubt by the people because she had been in the house of another man. To prove her purity, she walked into a burning pier to Rama was metamorphically revealed as she survived unscathed and pure as the glorious day in which she married Rama. Lakshmana and Sita returned to Ayodhya where Rama was crowned king and he ruled in peace for many thousands of years. Mm -hmm. 